It's just a good job that this is not going out live to 24 countries. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're taking a look at the top 10 times celebs humiliated themselves on TV. I thought I made a mistake, I do apologise. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. That's right, for this list, we're gonna look at 10 stars who made fools of themselves on that classic vehicle for embarrassment, British television. Got a favorite humiliating TV moment? Don't be shy and let us know in those comments below. Number 10, Sherry Hewson falls down the stairs. Come on, you didn't think we'd serve a list without a few classic pratfalls, right? Sherry's appearance on Pebble Mill was perhaps the most memorable thing about the 90s revival of the show. It has all the hallmarks of a vintage fall. Confident entry, smile and a nod to the audience, then a forced laugh to try and style the whole thing out. It's not the most dramatic fall ever. We'll get to that later. But it is undeniably very funny. The actress's guest appearance certainly livened up the rather stale nature of the aging program. <laughs> Number 9, Matt LeBlanc can't remember Ricky Wilson. Kaiser Chiefs lead singer and The Voice UK judge Wilson was appearing on The Graham Norton Show to promote his band's new single, Coming Home. But things got a little awkward when he mentioned the time he previously met fellow guest Matt LeBlanc, because the friend star couldn't remember it. Do you remember Matt? Nope. It was made even more uncomfortable when Norton's research team struggled to find the photo of the two together that Wilson mentioned. Have we got not got a picture of the, the picture of me meeting Matt? Oh, do we have that picture? I'd love it if you did. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Wilson does nothing wrong at all, but his eagerness to recount a tale that clearly left no impression on LeBlanc is a little awkward to say the least. How happy am I? <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Peter Simon stacks it mid-pitch. You might not think of telly shopping channels as a very common source of humiliating moments, but veteran presenter Simon had a day to forget on Bid TV. Selling a Gianni Sabanti watch alongside co-host Pollyanna Woodward, Simon took a pretty hard to miss tumble. As you take those, Pollyanna, it's of course James. <laughs> the look of embarrassment on his face lingers for way too long. The classic laugh it off technique is lacking here, making it all the more hilarious. It's Jane, it's Gianni Sabatini. Woodward certainly seems to agree, her reaction is priceless. A truly British reaction to cap off a classic of the pratfall genre. This is the world of Gianni Sabatini. <laughs> Number seven, Ollie Mears puts his foot in it. Ollie's cheeky chappy persona won the hearts of the nation on his X Factor debut in 2009. And by 2015, he had earned himself a tidy promotion from contestant to presenter. But the singer couldn't have made a worse impression when he accidentally announced the departure of contestant Monica Michael from the show before the public had even voted. Fortunately, Monica, you are going home, I'm afraid. So, Anton. What? No, Ollie, no? she's not. No, oh, she's not going to vote. No, Sorry. Many branded the show a fix as a result, but the reality was that Ollie had simply got confused and screwed up. Apologize for that. Sorry, Monica. As a novice host, he could be forgiven for making a few mishaps. But an error of that proportion was pretty hard to overlook and excruciatingly awkward for viewers and contestants alike. It's Monica Michael. Number six, Mark Wahlberg gets drunk. Graham Norton is on record as saying that he and the production crew like to ply guests on The Graham Norton Show with liquor to liven up conversation. But they came to regret that when Marky Mark himself appeared on the show. He clearly took full advantage of the booze supplied and proceeded to be loud and boorish for the duration of the episode. Can you imagine? You sit there. <laughs> Lady. The other guests, including Sarah Silverman and Michael Fassbender, looked visually uncomfortable. <laughs> Can I finish this? <laughs> <laughs> Wahlberg claimed the appearance was taken too seriously years later, but that doesn't really ring true. An A-lister making a fool of himself on primetime TV? That's always gonna catch people's attention. I don't know what chateau that red wine came from. Yeah, yeah. Number five, Monty Panis's mastermind calamity. 
Since retiring from cricket, Panesar has made quite the name for himself thanks to his bumbling appearances on reality TV. And his glorious celebrity mastermind campaign is perhaps the finest moment of them all. After answering a respectable six questions correctly in the specialist knowledge round, Monty had an absolute mare in the general knowledge section. He got just one answer right, and the ones he got wrong were spectacular. The dream boys, the full Monty. Watching back, it almost feels like he cheated by stealing the answer sheet, only to find his answers were for the wrong set of questions. Suggesting Oliver Twist is a season the poet Keats wrote about is perhaps the highlights incredible scenes. Oliver Twist. Autumn. <laughs> Number four, Huey Morgan smashes a mug. Never mind the Buzzcocks provided no shortage of humiliating moments in its original run on the BBC. But fun-loving criminals frontman Morgan lays claim to one of the most embarrassing of all. The seemingly inoffensive Next Line game really rattled Morgan, who ended up furiously smashing his mug in rage. Nice. <laughs> The bewilderment of guest hosts' rizzle kicks really makes this scene. Morgan's unbridled anger is taken down perfectly by the duo, whose cheeky humor really highlights how much of a plum the singer is being. There is just there on the show, I'd have to smash a mug in my hair. Rizzle Kicks later suggested he was merely trying to be funny, but that feels like they're giving him too much credit. The criminal certainly wasn't very fun loving that day. The Phil, Huey Morgan, and Laura Whitmore. No, listen, Number three, Nick Weir's catchphrase debut. Telling actors to break a leg is a common way of wishing good luck. But Nick Weir might have taken the advice a little too literally. In his first series presenting catchphrase, Weir's piece to camera went about as pear-shaped as possible when he slipped, fell down the stairs, and, you guessed it, broke his leg. He was taking over from long-running host Roy Walker, so to be humiliated like this so early into his reign as a presenter certainly did nothing to help his case with winning viewers over. Weir was forced to wear a cast for the rest of the series, a permanent reminder of his embarrassing tumble. Actually, I've broken my foot, look. Number two, Gemma Collins falls through the stage. This list would simply be incomplete without a mention of the GC. The Taui star has had many a mishap, but few are quite as memorable as this. The winner of the Radio 1 Teen Award for Best TV Show is... Love Island! While presenting an award at the BBC Radio 1 Teen Choice Awards in 2017, Collins made the fatal error of not noticing a trap door was still open. It's not hard to work out what happened next. The results were absolutely hilarious. Gemma later revealed she wet herself during the fall, though it's unclear whether this was out of fear or laughter, or perhaps both. Either way, this is an absolutely iconic moment that ranked up 500,000 views on YouTube within a day of taking place. This is life! This is what happens! Number 1. Robbie Williams Takes a Tumble Ah, Robbie. Robbie, Robbie, Robbie. This 2006 concert in Leeds, broadcast live on Sky One, would have been hugely celebrated. After all, Robbie performed a seemingly endless array of hits from rock DJ through to angels and let me entertain you. But most viewers will remember this gig for one thing and one thing only, this fall. It's so casual and understated and yet so utterly, utterly perfect. There's something about the juxtaposition between Williams's ultra-polished set and this clumsy slip that is undeniably comedy gold. That's a bit embarrassing. We've all fallen over like this before, but not on live TV to hundreds of thousands of viewers. Sorry, Robbie, but TV humiliation doesn't get much better than this. They've been waiting for me to do that for 10 years now. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.